Hello, I'm Nathan Duder. I'm here with Wolves reporter Tim Spears. As we look back on some of the players this season, look forward to the future as well. We're going to start with the goalkeepers here. And, and Tim, uh, Emmy Martin is first of all. A bit of a surprise to be named ahead of Carla Kimi. Yeah, I mean, he came, came in with a great reputation. Kenny Jackett said he, he wanted him to challenge Carla Kimi and be competition for him. Um, but we certainly didn't expect Akimi to be dropped so soon into the season. Se second league game it was against Hull. Martinez came in, um, and then for that, for that first kind of two or three weeks, both keepers were in and out of the side uh, and made a number of mistakes. And it was a real problem for the team in uh, in those early stages when, when obviously what they hoped would be a promotion uh, campaign just never really got started, did it? Um, and then uh, Martinez eventually settled down, got a run in the team. Yeah. Uh, and performed very well for about 10 or 15 games um, and then picked up a really troublesome thigh injury so we, well we never saw him again Ikemi got the shirt and kept it and produced arguably some of the best form of his Wolves career towards, towards the end of the season um, so Martinez you know J Jacket said that there might be a deal to be done there mm. um, but you have to wonder such a highly rated 23 year old keeper at Arsenal he'd cost a bit of money so and I guess he, I guess he wants first team football as well he wants first team football um, whether he'd get it here or not, I don't know really. I mean, mm. he, he really pushed Akimi close, but it was just Akimi's form that kept kept uh, kept the shirt for him. But I, I think the money that Wolves would have to shell out um, and, and and the long contract they'd have to give Martin is probably means, but the situation with the club at the moment is it's probably a non-starter this summer. I'd suggest. And we're looking at we're looking at bringing in uh, one, if not two, goalkeepers o over the summer. Yeah, well, they lost Aaron McCary, uh, 24, um, as, as, th as you know, as good solid third choice backup, mm -hmm. very good keeper. Um, so he he's gone. I uh, believe he's joining Ross County in Scotland uh, actually today. So yeah, they're, they're, I think they'll need two keepers because after Ikemi, the next two are John Flat and Harry Burgoyne, both untried youngsters who you really want to get out on loan and play week after week after week. Sure. So, uh, so yeah, I think they'll be in the market for one or two. Um, we've heard they're looking at Nick Pope from Charlton today, Charlton's number one keeper, um, who sh sh certainly shouldn't cost the earth, although there'll be a lot of championship clubs in for him. Um, and they've, they've looked at a couple of others as well, a couple of young keepers. So mm -hmm. I, I would have thought, I think preferably we'd see an experienced backup come in. Um, we saw it with Thomas Kusak a couple of seasons ago, came in and was the perfect kind of backup to Hakimi. Um, so I think they'll look for an experienced keeper and a young keeper as, as the third, really, of the, of the five that they'll hopefully have. Yeah, busy summer searching for goalkeepers, and we will have the defenders for you tomorrow. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.